Hello and welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, episode 23, focused today on the junior out of the United States, Jordan Stoltz, and he's coming on very strong. He just set a junior world record in Salt Lake City, uh, obviously fast ice up there, but 14 of the 16 world records have been set there, so that's, uh, that's no slight. It's a, a massive achievement, an incredible achievement. He's 17 years old. And on one of those trajectories, he's getting better all the time, so it's certainly a skater to watch. This is from the Junior Worlds last year, and I just wanted to show you some excellent things Jordan does and a little bit of rawness. He's a very young skater, um, and he's still got some uh, rough edges around his technique, but um, really on the right path, and he's got so much innate feel for the ice. There's a ineffable quality like ice feel. You, you just kind of have it, and Jordan certainly has that feel. It's like kinesthetically he knows where everything in his body is in space and can put that into the ice in a very very efficient manner so i just want to look at his exit and then um into the straightaway i only have a little tape here so i'm not going to do it in fast motion because it would be not very helpful so again what do we want to look for here we want to look that he gets off this early so he doesn't stay with this push and slide now. If he does that, this line will break and he will not be coming over this skate. His hip will stay out. Let's see what happens. So off that, he's good. He's right here. Nice pressure. And this is the crucial one right here. What is he doing? Look at that knee drive. This is excellent. See this? I talk about lateral compression. You want to be tight. You want your knees together. This is really good. So, lateral compression. What does that mean? It means you don't want to bow out with your knees. You don't want to have your knee out here, knee out here, everything opening up. You don't want to open up. You want to keep it compressed beneath your hips. You do that, push down into the ice, you're going to be a streamlined, narrow, aerodynamic unit out there and he does this really well look at this lateral compression look how close those knees are and this is coming forward really good drive and watch this is the key thing on an exit watch how fast he's off this left and onto that right and notice at an exit this is an excellent angle on the blade it's not straight up and down it's not out here he's not staying with that skate too long get off that left and go. And he's pressurizing that right immediately at set down. Good pressure, no lift. And this is a good arm swing because this arm helps him to get off this left. If he were to swing his arm from the elbow, he stops his swing. You can see he stops his swing from breaking the arm and making the elbow, making the whole arm straight. He stops that. If he were to make, let his arm go straight back here, this would linger on the ice, and he'd be late getting on this skate. So again, use your arm as a mechanism to increase your efficiency and timing. But this is really good drive here. You can see it. It's all from the hips. That's about as good an exit stroke as I've seen off that right. Just right away on that. Excellent blade angle here. Good sitting position. All synchronized. Really good lines. And you can just see the power. No coming up. Look at his head. His eyes. There's no coming up here. None. Dropping in even a little bit. See that? Dropping into that push. And like I said, he's somewhat raw around the edges. Arm swings a little wide here for um, aerodynamic purposes. Ideally, you want to be a little less windmilly, but um, a lot of skaters, it works for them. So I'm, he's still, Jordan's still young, so this may be his way. Um, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying in all things being equal, this kind of arm swing 
may slow you down a few hundredths of a second or it may inhibit hip drive because it, it'll pull you this way. The wider your arm is out here, the more it's going to pull you over here while you're going this way. So if you have that arm closer to your hips, you tend to be able to move your hips better. Everything's under you more. You're more laterally compressed on the straightaway. But we'll see. That may, you know, everyone's got their own arm swing. It's a very unique thing for a skater. But the roughness I see here is this blade coming through up like that means he's a little behind. So that means staying a little bit long here, just a little bit. And you'll see that this ankle cave is pretty good. So here, nice set down over the skate. And it's a little, it breaks a little too early. So to improve that, you, st you stay pressurized on this skate a little longer as this drives through. So again, it's like a pulley. Pressure the left, drive the right through under your chin. And you do that, and you'll remove this little artifact of being a little late. You want these lines to be as straight as possible. So that breaks a little. Then what happens when the ankle breaks? The knee breaks. And Jordan's a little behind here. So you can see that. And then what happens is you can see how this comes in open. He does straighten it out at set down. So he does a really nice job of recovering from this technical, I wouldn't say it's an error, but it's, again, these are huge, these are not huge things, these are details. But details are what separate, you know, the Dutch in their 1,000 meter uh, for men, I think it was two tenths separated five skaters in their Dutch championship. So, you know, a hundredth of a second. So back to this. Staying a little long with the left, maybe because of the arms, we're not sure. But then he straightens out really nicely. But again, there's some time here where not a lot is happening right there. So, it's a detail. You want to see this line better, you want to see Jordan over here sooner and then he'd be out over this skate better. As it is, comes through, and you can see he's a bit in the middle, so it's probably a, every skater is asymmetrical, so it may be a, seems like everyone who, who has done short track is always better on the left side, even all speed skaters maybe, because we have a bias towards getting in over our left because of the turns, so there's somewhat of a bias that way. Nonetheless, Really good recovery there. Excellent pressure. Poised to pounce on it. Right there. And that's all the tape. So again, the things I would say about this technique is he's not done honing his technique yet. He's very young. But the fundamentals are really good. No lifting. Flat. Excellent lines. Lateral compression out of the exit, really immediate. You can see his gaze is over here. Your eye gaze can, is critical. Your exit is linked to your entry. If you don't, if you're not anticipating that entry at your exit, you're doing something wrong because it's all linked. All your stroke sequences must line up to have, a, to have an ideal entry. But technically, this is very, very good because he's off that Right, he, le he leaves, he abandons that push, leaves it behind so he can go be on top of the left. With no lift, great angles, no lift into the ice. Great thing to learn from, and again, the arm swings. Arm swing. Not sure. But he's a world record holder, and uh, he's only 17. So this is an amazing young skater and great things to come. And hope you enjoy this one. Feel free to email me at jeffreyclyber@gmail.com. Leave a comment, share with others you know in speed skating, and I will see you next time.